Okay guys, welcome to my review of the TRNTA1. Uh, this is a hybrid IEM. Uh, it's got a single dynamic driver in it. At the same time, it's got a balanced armature in it and it's made by Knowles. Uh, and um, yeah, it's a very affordable IEM at 29 US dollars with a well-built uh, shell. Okay, so I'm going to uh, review this IEM at the same time go through the uh, specs of this IEM and the fit and comfort and how it sounds uh, and let you guys know what I think of these IEMs. Hi guys, my name is Ian. Welcome to my video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Uh, and I do mostly audio product reviews and if you guys are interested in this type of uh, reviews, uh, and content do consider to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you guys get notified of my future videos all right so let's begin the review uh, this is the TRN TA1 29 US dollars comes in a box like this uh, pretty normal box I'm not gonna talk about this box nothing much to talk about uh, and also uh, some paperwork Right, let's put that one side uh, but I'll talk about the ear tips right so it comes with a whole bunch of ear tips uh, seven pairs of ear tips at the same time another pair that is already on the IEM uh, there are three different types of ear tips the base boosted ear tips the balanced ear tips and the foam tips uh, the base boosted ones is a little bit uh, rubbery you can feel uh, it's sticky all right uh, but it does boost the base a little bit okay uh, and then it does have also the balanced ear tips this one's a little bit transparent not as sticky as the base boosted ones uh, but yeah as you can see it's kind of different uh, the balanced ear tips is a little bit taller than the base boosted ones okay and then you have your uh, foam tips uh, and uh, I don't really use it because I take my IEN on and off very often so I don't use the foam tips uh, and yeah so that's for the ear tips ear tips are really nice uh, let's talk about the cable cable wise um, um, it's a four core cable and it's braided uh, it's got a 3.5 headphone jack um, that is angled okay uh, it's got a cable management strap here uh, and a plastic wise splitter Okay, the cable wise, I would say is a little bit thin and a bit tangly uh, at times, but other than that, it's, it's okay. It's um, a bit above average in terms of cable. Um, the ear hooks also uh, is not too stiff. It's not too soft either. So I would say it's uh, quite pliable and soft to the touch. Uh, pretty standard uh, ear hooks. And the connectors, uh, they are MMCX. So one thing about uh, MMCX is a little bit uh, finicky uh, to remove, but once you get the hang of it, uh, you will be able to get uh, you know the connectors in and out in a jiffy. So pretty easy to plug in and plug out if you get the hang of it. Okay, you just need to wriggle this. You need to have some finesse with it. Okay, in order to remove the cable. Uh, and you see how that easy it is so uh, let's talk about the IEM themselves so this is uh, the IEM is the whole shell is made out of a magnesium alloy and I, I like this design really much it's the bullet style type of uh, IEM uh, inside here uh, there is a balance armature and also a 8 millimeter um, dynamic driver so it's a very nice shell I like this shell very much it's got this nice sheen and uh, um, heft to it and it gives me that premium feel uh, to this IEM uh, on the faceplate it's got the uh, logo the TRN logo here uh, outside just on this side here there is a vent uh, obviously here there is the uh, MMCX connector and on the inside here there is another vent uh, the nozzle nozzle is a li little bit on the broad side and the wide type of nozzle and the uh, filter is made of um, perforated mesh I think 
okay so yeah but this is a very very comfortable i am to wear so let's talk about the comfort the fit and comfort uh, i would say this i am uh, fits my ear like a glove right it really goes into my ear and disappears and thanks to the mmcx uh, connector uh, if you look at the mmcx connector it swivels right so this i am can actually swivel on the um, uh, ear hook itself so what happens is that this ear hook you know stays onto my ear on the outer ear and the i am just swivels right into my ear canal and gets a really deep uh, insertion and seal so i get a very good seal from this i am i would say 80 percent and i have instances where my family member is calling me out and i cannot hear them and uh, that's an honest true fact so i i really like the comfort of these i can sleep with this i am uh you know disappears just disappears into my ear so fit and comfort wise and the seal is great right so let's talk about the sound how do they sound um now let's talk about the sound signature and for that i'll bring out my uh, graph which i have measured right so i've measured this im and i measured it uh, with this uh, coupler right here and if you guys are interested uh, to find out how i measure my ims uh, you can um, click on the video up above and you can learn on how to measure your own ims so for that let's take a look at this so if you look at this uh, graph uh, i would say it's a pretty balanced and even um, graph okay uh, just that the mids is a little bit recessed okay it's a little bit recessed as compared to the base and the treble right um, the IEM themselves in terms of the uh, entire technical technicalities and the uh, the tone and the timbre on these uh, they are a warm uh, and uh, easy listening type of uh, uh, tone and timbre uh, on these IMs is really nice and warm uh, is comfortable to listen to uh, can listen to any type of genre of music on these IMs uh, you will not feel any fatigue uh, and also uh, not sibilant is not shouty uh, is a little bit bright on certain tracks uh, and also uh, a little bit harsh on certain tracks but other than that there's no sibilance uh, there is no shoutiness on these IEMs so in terms of the tone and the timbre uh, these are really comfortable to use and uh, easy to listen to and soothing to listen to right it's not the analytical and clinical type of sound that you will get uh, on these IEMs so don't expect that okay right so let's talk about the um, sub bass right sub bass is rumbly it's got a nice heavy note weight to it uh, the extension of the sub bass is not a lot it's not uh, it rolls off pretty uh, fast uh, but it's got a heavy note weight to it uh, warm very nice and soothing to listen to uh, the rumble is there the quantity of the rumble is there uh, but it's not overwhelming as well so it's, it's a very good rumble not too extended all right type of rumble um, the mid bass uh, same thing in fact the mid bass is very punchy very very impactful and it's got that warmth as well and it's got that heavy note weight so you can really feel that impact that vibration of that uh, mid bass so uh, i would say mid bass on these iams are really great so if you like uh, listening to uh, mostly drum and bass uh, and kick drums they sound really great on these iams um, some electronic drums as well so uh, if you like listening to drums all right drums and impactful uh, instruments uh, these are the IEMs to go for because the uh, mid bass really stands out it's got this heavy note weight to it uh, it's got a very nice warm tone to it as well so um, mid bass great uh, okay for mids mids as you can see is a little bit recessed but I what I might say that is not so recessed that it sounds laid back so instruments on this uh, they sound uh, pretty forward okay they sound pretty okay uh, and also at the same time as i mentioned they sound warm and soothing to listen to uh, they may not as 
uh, forward as some other IEMs that I've tried, uh, but the uh, tone and the timbre just gives me that uh, easy, soothing, warm uh, listening experience. Uh, for instruments like pianos and violins, they sound soothing. Uh, and they don't sound as clear and as energetic, uh, but I would say they are, you know, uh, somewhere in between okay they are, they are not really laid back at the same time they are not really forward okay as for vocals uh, vocals male vocals uh, on one hand is they, they sound really good they sound uh, very authoritative in the mix uh, they have that forwardness as well uh, they have that warm tone uh, and very soothing timbre uh, and you know it's it's easy to listen to it's, it's not that type of laid back whereby you can't really hear the vocal uh, he, you know hidden or veiled behind uh, the instruments or the drums or the bass uh, they're just nice all right it's not too forward not too laid back just there okay so in terms of male vocals i would say it's pretty okay uh, for female vocals sometimes on certain tracks they sound bright uh, but most of the time they have that warm tone to it as well uh, and soothing uh, tone to it uh, people like uh, singers like um, Nora Jones uh, Diana Krall whereby you know they have that deep uh, timbre and warm soothing voice uh, they sound great on these IEMs uh, sometimes also for female vocals who have uh, those really high uh, notes, uh, they do sound good as well. I mean, the treble is not dark, all right? Don't get me wrong. Uh, but the treble uh, does help the female vocals a bit. They don't sound uh, sparkly uh, most of the time, but they have that energy there. At the same time, they sound warm and easy to listen to they are not shouty they are not sibilant uh, but sometimes they do sound a little bit harsh on certain tracks for certain uh, female vocals okay so let's talk about the treble the treble uh, on certain tracks uh, they are um, bright okay on certain tracks they sound okay the treble is nice and clean and the extension of the treble is pretty uh, okay uh, the roll off is pretty natural uh, the cymbal strikes and the hi-hats uh, strikes and the uh, extension of that sound uh, is pretty natural. So I, I, I kind of like the uh, treble. It's bright on a certain extent. At the same time, it's not um, sibilant. Okay, and it's also not uh, that kind of sparkle and that kind of energy that it will uh, provide. Uh, but at the same time, they don't sound, you know, uh, too overwhelming. All right. But on certain tracks, they do sound a little bit harsh, uh, whereby, you know, you have those electric guitars. And, you know, at certain note, uh, that electric guitar, they sound a little bit too harsh. Okay, but other than that, no complaints there for the treble. So overall as you can see uh, this IEM is an uh, easy uh, listening IEM uh, easy to adapt to uh, and also you can listen to a lot of uh, types of uh, genre of music on these IEMs uh, one IEM that I want to compare with is the Blonde BL03 and let's take a look at that one okay if you look at the comparison uh, between the Blonde BL03 and the um, TA1, the blondes they do have a um, bit more bass, uh, in fact, quite a lot more. It's about 5 dB more of bass. So, I would say, uh, uh, I would explain, I, I mean, if I compare them, the blondes do give a bit more uh, rumble, right? More grunt uh, to the sub bass um, and the mid bass as well. But if you look at the treble, right, the treble wise, um, I would say the blondes do have a little bit of a darker uh, treble right so in terms of treble i would say the blondes do sound a little bit laid back uh, and a bit more dark uh, when it comes to the treble okay but other than that you know if, if you ask me i would prefer the ta1 for the easier listening uh, experience uh, blondes obviously you know if you li listen to it it's, it's got a really dark uh, treble and sometimes you know it it's a bit too dark right uh, but the bass is good okay i would admit that the bass on the uh, blonde bl03 they are good they are really uh rumbly right and you, you if you want 
more bass obviously it's the blonde bl03 but if you want a more balanced uh, uh tuning uh as compared to the bl03 then I, you would choose the ta1 okay so that is my conclusion of the trn ta1 um, I hope you guys uh, learned something from this video uh, and you know enjoyed watching this video uh, and if you did uh, do consider to uh, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell uh, so that you get notified of my future videos and also uh, if you guys are interested to check this out uh, do take a look at the link down in the description below uh, so that you guys can take a look at the price and where to buy from okay so that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you again in my next video. Peace.